Here, here he is. is. Gone, yeah. here, gone, got him. Get a picture. North East Alabama on the nature trail that splits off of the main trail about a tenth of a mile in. Found him under the first big clump of logs. Shh. If you don't have a good picture at this point, it's just too bad. I'm just going to get you a decent panoramic. There we go. Plethodon glutatinus. I'm going to have to set him back here in the next 30 seconds here. He's really starting to dry out. All right. Uh, got what I believe is a five-line skink up there. Can't tell him from the southeastern five-line from this far away, but first lizard I've actually gotten on video because it hasn't jumped into the weeds and evaded me. Kind of cool. We'll try to get a regular picture of it here in a second. About 1.30ish central time, of course. Yep. Alright, so here's another uh, five-line skink here. It's got a blue tail, a classic pattern on the back. So the last one would have been a southeastern five line. This one's a common five line skink, right above a little uh, creek ledge. Um, well, this is kind of a secluded area, right off the trail a little bit. This is a big, adult northern slimy female, northern slimy, and he has kind of brassy yellow flecking, which is is unusual, at least from my experience. With is slimy. it a female? Mm -hmm, it's a female. Then don't say he. Oh. No, in the camera case is in front And if you want to get some video of that tail there, the back of his tail, you can see that slimy secretion that uh, she is giving off here. And that's kind of to dissuade predators. Say it again, please. It's that slimy secretion back there is to dissuade predators. The camera's too close. The camera's too close. Okay, try to get the whole body if you would. Try to get the whole body. Yeah. He's a metal lark. Yeah, he's right. I've yeah, got him. Eastern or a western? We don't know. I have no idea. Although I did get him on. Where is he? It's right there. All right. Stop the car. Stop the car. Okay, owl. This is a barred owl. Still a very cool owl right here in the hills of uh, the very western reaches of Lincoln County, and there he goes. This is a bard. Why don't you just get out? This is what they need to feed their young and stuff. You can get them flying if you... I already got them flying a little. Oh. You, you're good to hold you now. Bankhead National Forest. Right. It's probably roughly about, uh, I don't know, 2 p.m., something like that. 2.15. Here's a broad-headed skink. We scared up. Uh, he was under a log. He shimmied up this Lal Bali pine. At least I think it's a Lal Bali pine. Second species of skink I've seen in the southeast thus far. Winston, are we in Winston County? I think this is Lawrence County. I'm All right, just, uh, Lawrence County, Alabama. First broad-headed skink. Okay, here's some salamander larvae. We're still in Bankhead, roughly same location. A little puddle on the trail. Um, it's not clear. That's Where's bugging me. Oh, they're all over the place. Uh, I'm I'm just leaning toward marbled salamander here. It could be spotted or marbled, so I guess technically I can't really mark it. But um, definitely salamander larvae here. Some sort of ambistoma using this pool for breeding. There's a little southern devil scorpion. We're at a tin site. You ain't been dripping it unless you got slimy salamander slime on you. Here's a Mississippi slimy salamander. There's a horse fly. Goes right across my head. Uh, Bankhead National Forest. We're at a tin slash wood site here. Right next to this little shack. 
first Mississippi slimy salamander. I, we're in either Lawrence or Winston County, Alabama. It's like oh, 3.30 p.m. Nolan, did you get pictures? What? 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 Oh, boy. Thank you. Here we go. Well, oh, you're yeah. you're on film. I kind of have to break my promise. That's fine. My hands are pretty dry, so I need to get back to the moisture. I think you really saw the slime on your on your hands, so wow, it's huge. Plethodon, Mississippi, or something close to that. He's starting to dry out a little bit. Yeah. Here's our second Mississippi slimy. Neither of which has been found by me today, <laughs> which is just fine. Uh, and I uh, haven't gotten it on film yet, but there are about 20 herpers here. And uh, this one looks kind of like a southern Appalachian. Just because he has so many speckles on his back. Very young Mississippi slimy. Here's a green animal, my first. Uh, second lifer. Sorry. It's okay. Two to one. Um, found here at the closing in on 3.45 p.m. probably. Cool. I always thought these were just in Florida. Second devil scorpion. Right, here's our fifth Mississippi slimy salamander. Here we're still at the um, that site in Lawrence County, Alabama. Right there. We're still at that tin site. There's another scorpion. Oh, yeah. Here's a fence lizard. The Bankhead National Forest. I want a picture of the rest of them too when you get a chance. Okay. I give up. Did you get to catch it? No. All right. Uh, Mississippi slimy salamander number six. Here at uh, well, a spot in Winston County, Alabama. Because of course I divide up the YouTube scenes so that the locality data doesn't make it. Um, kind of in a swampy area where you'd expect cotton mouse, comp copperheads a little bit but a slimy salamander under the rock, nonetheless. There we go. All right, uh, we're on the trail on the back side of, uh, here's a little zigzag we found in the seepage area. Very small juvenile. Just kind of a temporary seat dripping over the side of the mountain. I'll get some footage of it here. See right there where the water's falling. We're on a big rock face here. Do y'all want to take pictures of it or should we let it down? Yeah. He's got white on the sides, almost like a three line. Yeah, I know. Like when I first saw him, he looked just like a three line. Yeah, oh, he's I like, a, be right in these like a hybrid. And he has like a dashed. Yeah, dashed down yeah. the middle. It's like he's an integrate between yeah. the two. Okay, the lighting isn't the greatest the there. Right? No, Mom, right. here, honey. I'll do the video. I'll you do the, the camera. camera. I'll hold it next so you can get some video oh. or some pictures. I mean. Okay. Definitely found that one. All right, this one was not my find. This was. Okay, this one was definitely <laughs> fine. Um, Long-tailed salamander. Now, if you look on the side there, because I know I have some old footage I haven't posted on YouTube of long tails from Ohio. He's got kind of a white modeling there. Yeah. And he's got the inklings of a third line running right down the middle of his back there. I know. Okay. So long tailed salamander looks kind of integrated with a, a three lined. And they live pretty well south of here. Did you say he's an adult? Oh, yeah. Yeah. And this is a cricket frog. Oh, my word is blurry. I'm this close and it's blurry. Um, Zoom it out, Nathan. <laughs> Got him. I'll check the Bankhead National Forest checklist to see if those are. Don't, don't do that. You have to lean up against the tree. Whatever. I don't know. I don't really know why they're called that, but that's my guess. <laughs> Sorry, just like the southern two line lives in Ohio. Figure it out. Yep. Who knows? We get all the northern stuff, like northern sliming. Northern cricket frog. And this is a Midwestern worm snake. 
What's that snake you found when you were in? In Tennessee? That was uh, Earth Snake and Earth Snake. Earth Snake. Yeah. Okay. That was, was in it under yeah, it was under Yes, ma'am. It was under that one over there. Beth Bethany found it. You got it, Nolan? Yep. It's settling down now. Oh, oh. <laughs> All right, here's a green salamander. Nolan, get your flashlight in there. Okay, and uh, he's in the crevice here. It's blurry. Why shouldn't it be? <laughs> it's still blurry. That's his tail. We ran into whew, the traffic jam of the century on Interstate 65, so we decided to get off. And we're kind of winding our way back through South Central Kentucky and North Central Tennessee. Stopped at this little pull-off. Can you hold them still? The stream. And uh, I was in a, t and not a tin site, but just an area with some debris at the side of the river. And flipped this little little ringneck snake. Sat there for a minute, soaked up some heat before he tried to squiggle away. Nice looking snake. I saw one of these down in Alabama as well. So, back in my picture. Get back in my picture. There he is, see him? Curled up. Here's just our uh, fourth redback salamander. Third one didn't get on video. Uh, still at that site in uh, southeastern Indiana, April 12th. And uh, it's about 8 p.m. <laughs>